Hi, my name is Eric Serum, and I'm here today with our UWRF Chem Demons. We're going to do a little demo today called the Jug of Fire, and my assistant is Alicia. All right. How Jug of Fire works is we take isopropanol, approximately 10 milliliters, and we're going to put it in this big jug right here. Approximately 10. Then what we're going to do, yeah, put the cap on there, right? is we're going to roll it around here on this piece of rubber mat uh, to increase the surface area. That's why we roll it. So it reaches vapor pressure faster. And then what we're going to do is we're going to try to get a burn. And right now, um, the gas inside the bottle is pushing out of my hand, which is weird because you wouldn't expect that, but it's because the vapor inside of the bottle. And let's see what happens. Now, I resealed the container, and as the gases inside it that are very warm from the reaction start to cool down, it actually is sucking in on my hand. So the lower pressure system inside the bottle cannot hold out the atmospheric pressure because now it's lower. And so if you listen really close, you have that vacuum. Now, I'm going to roll this around again, and we're going to see if we can get what's known as the second burn. This burn generally goes a lot slower, but it's also kind of interesting because what happens is it actually has to draw in the oxygen because the environment in here is filled up with the products of the reaction, which includes CO2 and H2O, either of which are very combustible. And let's see what happens once we reach vapor pressure again. Start to feel pressure pushing back out as opposed to the vacuum. Not really vacuum, but... Thanks for watching.